good morning. Welcome to day 18 of Vlogmas. So it's Monday the 18th of December today. So one week to go until Christmas and that means this time next week it'll actually be Christmas Day which is very very exciting. So um, today is the first day of my children's Christmas holidays. So my husband has gone back to work after the weekend just upstairs um, in the back bedroom but he is already busy on calls even though it's quite early still here so my children are having a bit of a slow start to the day so while they're having a little bit of a relax I thought I'd come in here and catch up um, on a few bits first of all what Elf was up to in the night so when we got down the stairs this morning we found that it was a little bit of a messy one Elf had found my son's stash of football cards and um, yeah, got messy with them. So my son is a big fan of collecting football cards. He's been doing it for the last couple of years, collecting all the cards for the sort of Premier League um, teams in England. So you kind of get all the cards and there's a, there's a few hundred of them and you pop them all in a, a special book and he loves getting them all and he does trades as well. So my husband helps him do some trades where he sort of posts off spare cards he has two, sort of more than one of and other people will send him cards he needs to try and fill his album. So anyway, um, upstairs um, in my husband's study, it was a neatly stacked pile of all the football cards arranged in order because they're all numbered. And Elf had somehow managed to get hold of them all and turn them into a big mess. Um, as I'll put a picture up so you can see them all, there's Elf on the floor in the middle of them. He'd obviously had a bit of fun looking at them because He'd found all of the sort of team crests and he'd put them in the middle and then he found the Premier League trophy and he had that on himself. So he obviously knew that was quite an important card. Um, but yes, they're totally out of order now. So it's going to take a while to put them back into the right order to make it easier for when my son does some more swaps in the future. So my daughter tried to help this morning and she organised a few of them, which is very sweet of her. Um, but I think the rest of it might be left to me to sort them all out. There are quite a few to get through, but we'll manage. I think Elf might have been a bit inspired because I know yesterday my husband and son spent a bit of time um, putting some cards together for a swap. So Elf might have been sneakily spying what they're up to and thinking he might quite fancy taking some of those cards himself. But yes, that is what Elf was up to. They're still all down on the floor here. It might be a job for later this evening to get them start to get them organised. So that is what Elf was up to. And then in terms of what I'm wearing today, I'm wearing a jersey dress and I actually got out two different jersey dress options this morning and my children chose this one for me to wear. Um, it's one I really like, but I don't get out that much actually. Over the top of it, I've got on a hand knitted cardigan. I think I wore this one earlier in Vlogmas. It is a hack of the All About Amy downtown cardigan, um, which is a pattern I really like and I kind of hacked it to make it a little bit cropped and I made it in a lighter weight wool. This is like an Aran weight wool. And it's got this sort of nice garter stitch on it, and little ribbed cuffs and a ribbed um, neckband. And actually, I'm currently working on another one of these in a navy yarn. I think I might have mentioned once I'd finished my, the crochet bag I was making for my daughter, I thought I might restart that project, which I sort of had on the back burner for quite a while. So the last few evenings, I've just been starting to knit one of the sleeves. So I thought I'd share my progress. So this is a navy version exactly the same wool it's going to be exactly the same as this cardigan only in this navy colour which I think will be another real nice staple so I'm getting along with the sleeve you can see it's got a little bit of a balloon shape there at the bottom which is coming on and um, it took me a bit of time to get back into this knitting project actually I think because the crochet bags I've been working on for my daughter there was quite a lot of variety in it because you sort of crochet the granny squares and then you sort of crochet them together and then you add the sort of st the strap at the top which has quite a lot of nice detail on so every row is different so yeah there's quite a lot of variety in that one whereas this is a lot more um you don't really need to think about this one so I'm pretty much once I've done the rib at the bottom and a couple of increases towards the bottom now I'm just knitting back and forth um so it's quite a sort of mindless knitting I can just do it without thinking about it and at first I was sort of finding it a little bit boring I guess compared to the crochet project but now I think I've sort of found my vibe on it and sort of settled into it. And I'm quite enjoying how methodical it is, just knitting back and forth. And I've got my little stitch counter here to keep track. Um, I'm on um, 85 rows at the moment. So I think I'm about halfway maybe on the sleeve or something. But yeah, I'm finding it quite relaxing actually just sitting there and knitting back and forth and finding it, yeah, just quite nice and chilled. Um, and I'm, I love my needles. These needles are Knit Pro needles. I think they might be called Zing needles possibly. 
and um, they're amazing. I used, I start off with the pony needles, but these ones are just a little bit sharper and they're really nice to knit with. And um, they've got a nice sound to them. Um, so yeah, these are five millimeter needles, you can see. And I like the fact they're hot pink because I do find I am guilty of often leaving my knitting on the sofa and the needle will often slip down the side of the sofa and they're quite easy to see in this hot pink colour so I can kind of rescue them before they disappear right into the bowels of the sofa. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd share how I'm getting with that one. I'm looking forward to kind of working on this project over Christmas. I think it's quite a nice one, particularly when Christmas can be quite tiring. It is quite nice in the evening to have a project you don't need to think about too much. You can just pick up and you don't need to think about where you are. You just carry on knitting and knitting until you reach the right number of rows. So yeah, two sleeves to go and then I can start putting it all together. But I'm hoping I might get this one ready for sort of the really cold weather in January. It's actually not too cold today, which is nice because our boiler isn't fixed yet. We've got a nice boiler man coming out tomorrow to hopefully fix it. Or at least he's going to come and have a look at it and hopefully it'll be a simple thing to fix. But luckily it has got a bit milder here, so it hasn't been too bad. We haven't been too cold. Um, and we've got some hot water because we've got an immersion heater to be able to heat a bit of water in the meantime, plus the kettle. So we are managing, but I am hoping it'll be fixed tomorrow. So please keep your fingers crossed for us on that front. But yes, um, I digressed a little bit there. I'll move back onto my dress. Um, so this dress is a pattern that I don't think it's one of Tilly the Button's most popular patterns. And it's certainly one of the older patterns. So I don't really see it much around these days. It is the Zadie dress pattern. So you can see the styling of the pattern envelope is quite different to the more recent um, styling where you have like a model on the front and the pictures are a lot bigger and everything. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice dress pattern actually. So it's a jersey dress pattern, but it's designed for sort of medium weight stretch knit fabric such as Ponty, Double Knit and Interlock. And it does say it's sort of jersey, so I think you can make it in a cotton jersey and I have and it does work well in that too. But I can see because it's got a lot of different sort of seams and pieces going on that are slightly heavyweight fabric might kind of help to hold it together a bit better in a way how it's all fitted together but I'll read a bit of the description on the back because I feel like it's got quite a lot of going on quite a lot going on with it I'll make want to make sure I cover the details so it says the dress has striking diagonal seams concealing lovely and practical inseam pockets and they are very big inseam pockets actually they kind of sit along these seams here um and then it's got a flattering empire waistline and a round neckline finished with a neckband and it flares out into a feminine knee length semi pleated skirt so little pleats actually you can see them better from the line joins little pleats at the front here um and the back too um that's great for swishing and you can choose from cap sleeves three quarter length or full length raglan sleeves so it's definitely a bit different to any other jersey dress pattern i've sewn and it is great for colour blocking, actually, because of these sort of interesting details of how the bodice is put together. And my version I'm wearing today actually is a sort of colour block version, although not like a brightly coloured version. Um, I'll take my cardigan off so you can see it a little bit better. I made it in a black cotton jersey fabric and then this cool leopard print fabric. And I remember buying this and I wasn't 100% sure of the composition. I don't think there were so many details available on the website, but I love the print. I'll stand up a bit um, so you can see what it looks like on. See, I kind of had fun adding the sort of leopard print for the front bodice and then the full skirt and the back is all black. Um, so yeah, you can see the skirt comes up to here. So it's a higher empire waist garment. Um, and yeah, it's just quite a nice, slightly different dress. It does feel a bit skater style the way it's sort of made. Um, now, when I made this, uh, I remember that I made, I think, I made my size. I think I might have gone for the size two. And it turned out really large for some reason. And it's funny because I then went on to make another Zadie dress. I've got two of them. And I made, I sized down because this one came out so large. And then that one came out a bit on the tight side. So I don't know whether I did something wrong with this version and just somehow end up a bit big. I'm not quite sure. Um... But yeah, I remember having to take in the sides quite a lot and it has altered the shape of it a little bit, but luckily it still is okay. But I do remember thinking, oh my goodness, how am I going to make this work? Because of all the sort of pretty, um, pretty sections, I thought it might compromise them a little bit. Or I started adjusting the side seams too much, but it has turned out okay. And also um, the neckline has come out really low compared to my other one, which has a slightly higher neckline. So this I'd say is more of a scoop neckline rather than a round neckline. So I don't know what went on when I was saying this. I remember, I think it is maybe a, well, it's the same pattern for improvers. And I think I was like fairly new to sewing when I sewed it. So it did make, it did when I was sewing it. I remember finding it a little bit tricky. And it was quite hard. You have to kind of get all these 
different seams to sort of match up to get it nice and sharp here where all the pieces come together and I remember finding it a little bit challenging anyway getting it all to come together nicely so I don't really know what happened but luckily I was able to sort of adjust it in some way or other to make it fit and I think it fits quite nicely now and it's a really nice comfy one to wear and it is keeping me quite cosy although I have obviously got this cardigan on as well to keep me extra cosy because the house is a little bit colder than it would be normally but yeah it's a really nice dress pattern I think it's still got like a limited size range from a UK 6 to a UK 20 I don't think that Tilly and the Buttons have extended the size range on this one probably because it's one of their maybe less popular patterns maybe I haven't seen as many Zadies and made as other things but it does a really cool colour block I think um so yeah it is a really nice pattern actually um, I do really like it and I really yeah I really like this version um, and I'll put a picture up. I took a picture with my cardigan on so you can see how I've kind of got it styled today. And I also put, took a picture with the cardigan off so you can see the sort of full Zadie dress. Yeah, this is my really wintry version. I went for the long sleeves. My other version I made in one fabric and it's much more summery. And I actually made some adjustments to that version too. So it's one of those patterns I have played around with a little bit. But yeah, it's a really nice pattern, I, I think. And I do really enjoy wearing this one. And then the next thing that I wanted to talk about is our plans for this morning. So this morning, my son and daughter and I are going to head out and we're going to pop down to our local post office and drop off a small parcel. It is actually the football cards that my son and husband were getting together yesterday for a trade, which seems to have inspired Elf to make his big mess. So yes, we're going to go and drop those off and also pop past the supermarket um, to get a couple of bits. So yeah, that is our plan. I think my children will go on their scooters. I'll probably sort of race behind them because I've got a couple of things to carry. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice weather actually for a scoot. I don't think it's going to rain today. It's a bit grey outside, but quite mild. So yeah, it should be nice to get out and about. Um, and I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. There won't be a big queue in the post office because I know it can get really busy at this time of year. So yeah, fingers crossed. So that is our plan this morning. So I'm going to go and get my son and daughter now and we'll get ready to head out. And I thought I'd take you on a little bit of our route. And then I'll pop on a bit later to catch up um, on the rest of the day. So yes, I'll see you in a little bit later. Bye. Again now and it's about one o'clock in the afternoon here now and we had a successful mission to the post office so that was good I was a bit worried the queue was going to be very long because I realized when I walk over there that today is the last day for second class postage for guaranteed delivering before Christmas 
So I was worried we'd write at the post office and there'd be a huge queue of people with parcels and Christmas cards and all, all sorts. But actually there was a small queue and it was quite fast moving. So I was quite relieved about that. Um, so yeah, we had a nice trip over. I hope you enjoyed a bit of the footage of it. Um, it was nice weather for it. Nice to get out in the fresh air. And then we got back home and my children were a little bit tired after the, um, the trip out. So I read them a bit of a Christmas book. And it's a book we've been reading since the start of December. They sort of chose it as the one they wanted to read. And we do a little bit every night before bed. Um, it's a really nice one, actually. But we're getting towards the end of the story now. So last night they were quite keen for me to carry on reading and reading. So I said we'd do some more today. But I thought I'd share the book. It is one we didn't read last year. We chose a different Christmas book and we didn't get to this one because sometimes we can fit in more than one. Um, but we read it the year before. Um, and yeah, it's really nice to revisit it this year, actually. It is this book here. It is A Boy Called Christmas by Matt Haig. Um, yeah, it's just a lovely one, actually. I'd happily read this on my own as well as reading it to the children. It is a children's book, but it's really heartwarming. It's a really nice tale. So if you're in the mood for a heartwarming Christmas book, then I really love this one. Um, so we had a little read of that and then we've had some lunch and now we're starting to get to the point where we're thinking about our afternoon plans. But I thought while I'm on now, I'd also share something that I discovered when I was having a little um, look through, I've got a sort of little box in our hall cupboard by the front door where I keep all of our sort of hats and gloves and mittens and that sort of thing. And I found in the box a hat um, that I made for myself a couple of years ago. It's like a knitted hat. And I thought I should really start wearing it now um, that it's getting towards Christmas because I think it's quite a Christmassy hat. So I thought I'd share it on here. Um, so this is it here. So it's this really cute cable knit hat that I made in this bright red um, yarn. I think it's some sort of chunky yarn. I can't quite remember now. I'll have a look at the pattern in a moment. And I've got this faux fur um, pom-pom on the top, which I think makes it even more Christmassy because it's kind of like white. So it, yeah, makes it feel like quite a Christmassy sort of Santa Claus type hat. <laughs> and yeah, I made it a couple of years ago using this pattern here. It's called the Braided Cable Beanie Pattern by Below Zero Canada. I bought this from Lovecrafts um, just as a sort of PDF download and um, I checked and it is still available on there so I'll link it down below in case you fancy having a go of a cable knit hat. It was a really nice one to knit. I can't remember what yarn it uses. Just double check on the front page. Um, where does it say? Oh yeah, bulky yarns. It's a sort of chunky yarn. Um, but yeah, I do love a bit of cable knitting. So this was quite a fun one to knit and it's a lot more bright than my other hats and my other knitted hats I've made in sort of black and navy. So they're a lot more muted. I thought they'd be good for sort of just blending in generally. Um, but this one, yes, yeah, a bit more, a bit more standout, I guess. And actually my mum really liked this one when she saw me wearing it. So I made one for her as well in a purple colour because purple is her favourite colour. So I think, I think she gets quite a lot of wear out of it um, when the weather gets cold, I think. So that's nice too. But yeah, I'll pop it on so you can see it on. Um, it's really nice and cosy and Christmassy. So I think today the weather's a little bit mild for a hat. I don't really need one today. I think I get a bit overheated. But yes, if the weather does get colder later this week, I'll definitely try and get this hat out because it does make me feel nice and Christmassy. And if you enjoy cable knitting, this is a really fun knitting project. Um, I think you knit it in the round. And then as you can see, there's two different type of cables running up the hat. There's this sort of wider cable here and then there's little finer twizzly cables as well so it has lots of lovely texture this hat and it's quite a in, more involved project um it's done kind of the opposite end of the spectrum to the cardigan that I'm knitting at the moment that I was showing you earlier where I'm just in garter stitch um, knitting up and down and back and forth I'm not having to think about it much this project um definitely kept me more on my toes um just keeping track of where I was and making sure all the cables are going in the right direction and all that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it was a really fun knitting project. Um, and I do love how Christmassy this hat is. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you that. And then in terms of our plans for the afternoon, well, this afternoon we're planning on heading out again. We're taking advantage of the nice weather today because I think, looking at the forecast, tomorrow is going to be a bit of a washout. Um, so we're going to head up into town and the children will probably scoot and I might uh, scoot as well or might walk. I'm not sure. Um, I may well scoot as well because they can get up to quite high speed um, on the flats um, heading up towards town. So sometimes I'm really racing behind them. So it might be nice to be on a scooter as well. But yeah, it should be nice to head up into town. And the reason why we're heading up to town is we want to go to our local library. We've got a pile of books that we need to take in before Christmas. 
that we either need to return or renew in person because we've reached the maximum number of online renewals that we can do before you have to go in and renew in person and sort of reset. So that is the plan this afternoon. My children really enjoy the library. They love going there. I'm sure they'll find some new books to bring home to read over Christmas too. So it should be a nice trip out um, and yeah, nice to get a little bit more fresh air on this first day of the Christmas holidays. So I will um, try and take you along on a bit of our trip out this afternoon and I will see you again a little bit later. So yeah, see you a little bit later. Bye. again now and we had a nice trip out to the library as you'll have seen from some of those photos I shared we stopped at the library for a little bit and my children both had a read there's some quite nice cozy little nooks and chairs there to be able to sit and have reads so it's quite a nice space to spend a bit of time in and now we're back home and it's not even four and it's already starting to go dark outside it feels very much like dusk right now here it's been quite a grey day anyway so it feels extra dark and I suppose we are getting very very close to the shortest day of the year so it's not a surprise but Yes, um, I was going to actually share, try and fit in today sharing a new make, but somehow the days run away with me and this video has ended up longer than I expected it'll be. So I think I'll save that for tomorrow instead and I'll finish this video off here now. So thank you so much for joining me for another day of Vlogmas. I hope you've had a good day too and have a lovely evening and um, I will look forward to seeing you again for day 19 tomorrow. So yes, see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.